We're in the casting call right now for the Jimmy Station movie. This is the, the second day. Actually, we had a good turnout on Sunday, despite the rain. Um, today's Wednesday. I decided to do another casting call because some people didn't make it, so I give people a second chance. Um, been a lot of great people coming through, man, from the burg, man. Funny people, man, and uh, some people. A lot of people didn't have any acting experience, but now they do. You know what I mean? It just brought out of them. And, um, so me, Dav Hammonds, you, you know, behind the camera, Dick LeBeau over there. And what's so crazy, us three right here, basically, you know, I wrote the movie. Them two helped me with some of the characters. You know what I mean? Dav and, and Dick LeBeau. Dick LeBeau created Showtime. He created, created Lucky Charm. You know what I mean? They was just both giving me different characters and we all just brought the characters together and just was adding stories to them. Real life, real Jitney story stuff that happens in the neighborhoods. And it just came out, man. You know what I mean? And now it's the next process. Process uh, holding this casting call, man. So hopefully, uh, when this movie's done, man, we can premiere it and and get it to the world. And it can be something that people from Pittsburgh, it's like, man, that you know, be associated with, man, from you know the black communities, man, the inner city, man, because Jitney's basically is located in the black community. You know, if a lot of people don't know what a Jitney is, it's basically it's a hood taxi. An unlicensed hood taxi, you know what I mean? You call the station, they already got set prices and they take you anywhere you want to go. You know what I mean? I got and a person who'll take yeah. me to West Virginia. And with yeah, that, really anywhere go. I go, as long as I got the money, you're going to take me there. So this movie's about, really, it's a comedy, but it's really about how pivotal Jitney's is in the black community in Pittsburgh. Like, without Jitney's, because the bus system's all messed up, and, you know, a lot of people don't want to catch the bus, and there ain't no taxis in the hood. So Jitney's is like the barber shop, you know what I mean? The cornerstone oh, in the black sure. community, man. And a lot of the Jitney's are people's uncles, you know, just somebody with a license in the hood. You know, and they make decent amount of money. So we... Came together, man, and uh, wrote this script, and it, you know, I mean, sky's the limit. Off you know of I mean? Facebook post. <laughs> yep, off a of Facebook post, man. That's off a of Facebook story, post, dude. and it's just like sky's the limit, man. It's like it's a blessing from God. You know what I mean? You don't take your blessing for granted. And now me, I'm trying to give people opportunity. You know what I mean? Spike Lee, when he did his early movies, he created his own actors, and Adam Sandler, and. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of them, you know, uh, even Tyler Perry. He had a lot of the same actors. He didn't have a lot of money to pay people in his early movies. So I'm trying to create my own people, you know what I mean, from Pittsburgh as actors and bring them up and hopefully they can go off and, you know what I mean, be multi-millionaires and be wealthy or, you know, whatever it is they want to do. You know what I mean? But it all starts right here. You know what I mean? Off one idea, man. Everything starts off one idea, man. And you brainstorm and you put it on paper and you do it. You know what I mean? You take no for an answer. No matter what the obstacles you face with. I've reached out to people, you know what I mean? So many people um, that sit in the film industry, people from Pittsburgh. I wouldn't get no response. Did I get mad? Did I just get discouraged? No. Nah. But I said, guess what? This will get done. Period. I'm not taking no for an answer. And that's just that's just the determination you have to have with everything in life. Anything you want to do, you can do it. You know what I mean? Especially if it's positive. You know what I mean? You ain't harm they're hurting somebody, you ain't trying to harm somebody, you know what I mean? But if you're trying to do something good and that's gonna help other people, man, just do it. So, you know, like all my friends that's passed away, man, and everybody that's, you know, in jail, man, this is the type of people I do this for, man. People that really don't have a voice no more, man. And I wanna be a voice to that people can come to and help people, you know, that's trying to go in the right direction, man.